Hello, Internet. This is Whispering Whim, bringing you another grocery haul today. And uh, as I promised last month, it is a bit of a doozy. <laughs> so without much further ado, let's go ahead and uh, dive right in, shall we? First off, we have some zebra mini donuts for my guy to enjoy uh, for breakfast, right? And then we have more breakfast items. This is a big old variety pack of Danish. And uh, this is for when we go camping. I go camping uh, once a year with my husband's family. And um, it just so happens to coincide with a craft show uh, that's in the same sort of touristy area. And I did really well at that craft show last year. I signed right back up. And so it'll be sort of like a working vacation. Um, but anyways, long story short, I have lots of camping stuff today. And that's kind of why there's such an excess, <laughs> such an excess of things, okay? Next up, we have some itty bitty pretzel minis. <laughs> um, I've been feeding my guy a lot of like potato chips lately and I decided that we kind of needed to kick that and get him some some other starches. So um, yeah, pretzels is one of them. Although we couldn't get away from potato chips entirely because we are going camping and I plan on making all of my my good dips like onion dip and hummus and whatnot so I got some jalapeno kettle cooked chips the sharing size and I think the other is I also got some plain lays these are my favorite they're like addictive <laughs> so I try not to buy them for the house all that often, but this plus onion dip that you just make with um, Lipton soup, oh, I mean, it's fatty as heck, but it's so good. <laughs> and then I got a very special treat for my sister-in-laws. Uh, they love sweet things and being kind of childish in a good way. They're very young at heart, I guess would be a better way to put that. Um, so I got them some oversized gummies. Uh, one of my sister-in-laws absolutely adores frogs. She even owns one. I think it's just one. <laughs> they have many reptiles and I think only one amphibian. Amphibian? something like that um and then just a a standard unicorn for my other sister-in-law she loves those um it would have been better if i could have found a snake last year i found a giant snake that was like this uh but i didn't see it and i think she'll enjoy this too and then speaking of camping snacks i picked up a bag of muddy buddies uh, did your parents or grandparents ever make you Muddy Buddies? My um, granny on my father's side, she would make us Muddy Buddies. And I do know how, but it makes like a giant portion and then you have leftover ingredients. Uh, so this is the easier way to get my nostalgia on. <laughs> um, and for those who are uninitiated, it's um, a cereal product. And you like drench it in butter and chocolate and powdered sugar. And this one has peanut butter in it as well. Uh, and it just ends up being a very decadent treat. Speaking of decadent treats, we have some... Frosted Fudge uh, Little Debbie Cakes. Uh, these will be for my guy's lunches. And then I got a few more fun things for his lunches. Um, I got him some corn nuts. Just one little package. They're not his favorite favorite, but you know, when you need to break up the monotony of things, he does like them. Uh, and this one is Chili Picante Con Limon. 
Uh, so a little spicy, a little uh, sour. Got some little tiny uh, wafer cookies. I think this might actually be for me. <laughs> and hard to believe, but even at that super tiny size, like, you know, that's a bite, maybe two. That's still 50 calories right there. Sweets, they're crazy. It's no wonder I've cut most of them out of my life because goodness gracious. And then speaking of sweets, we have some Hello Panda snacks. Uh, this is just to add some variety to my guy's lunches. You know I love to spoil him. <laughs> His sisters, he has two sisters as you might have guessed from my earlier uh, gummy explanation, uh, they're both twins. So he has twin older sisters and they, they live together. They're not really interested in dating or anything like that. Um, and they get so jealous that he has a wife sometimes. Not that he has a wife, but that he has a caretaker. <laughs> um, and sometimes that spoiling goes out to them too like with the gummies um but like i'll also make too much food and send them with some leftovers home so that they eat real food because <laughs> if i don't they'll just eat stuff like this all the time uh here we have some special k bars cranberry almond flavor kind of add some protein to someone's lunch i haven't decided if i'm bringing that camping or just leaving it here yet I think it'll depend on how much stuff I actually end up with. Um, we're going camping not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I got all my per non-perishables in sort of a big trip, but then I'm gonna go buy like the perishable stuff. And um, you know, those bear boxes only hold so much food. Anyways, we have some saltine crackers. I don't know why, but I love plain old saltines, you know, nothing fancy, no flavorings. Um, sometimes I'll eat them just like that. Like my intention is to eat them with like soup and stuff, but I've been guilty of eating like a whole sleeve of saltines <laughs> with nothing. <laughs> and then um, real quick, if I have a few little like f f whispery, f there it is, the whistly kind of thing. I can't help that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Um, but we've, the, the braces have once again been altered and changed and my mouth has to get used to them all over again. So tired of the braces, y'all. Okay. Anyways, we have some dinosaur egg oatmeal. My sister-in-laws had never even heard of this until they met me, which just blows my mind because I've been eating it since I was a kid. Um, but basically it has these like candy dinosaurs, but they're covered in sort of a waxy sweet thing that melts when you put on the hot water. Uh, totally terrible for you, I'm sure. But it's so much fun that I'm going to bring that camping as well. They're actually going to be a bit overspoiled for breakfast things. I also picked up a whole case of yogurt. And I don't think I'll drag out any of the cool stuff today. We have a lot of dry goods and my refrigerator could use the break. It's, um, what is it? It's like almost 90 degrees out there today. And um, I'm not running the AC, so it wouldn't interfere with the video, right? Gotta get all those nice calm noises, right? Um, so anyways, it's just safer to leave all the cooler stuff in the fridge, I think. Anyways, our next item is some mayonnaise, some real mayonnaise, <laughs> um, with a little squeezy tube. Uh, you know, now that a lot of stuff comes in squeezy tubes like that, I don't know if I'd ever go back to jars, other than I guess it's probably more eco-friendly to be in the jars. Um, I'll have to debate that one. But we're going camping, and this is going up with us camping, so this will be the more eco-friendly option, I think. Anyways, moving right along, we have some white beans. We actually have quite a few white beans. Um, they're mixed in here. Uh, there's kidney beans. And let's see here. There's another white bean. And 
there's the third white bean. Uh, I'll be doing my typical white bean chili, but since we're going camping, I'll be doing a big portion of that, right? And then we have some diced tomatoes. We should have two cans of that running around here. Where's the other can? Two cans diced tomato. I think I'm going to make minestrone soup while I'm up there. Um, I found a recipe that basically kind of imitates um, Olive Garden minestrone soup, and then I've adjusted it a little bit, so it's even better than Olive Garden minestrone soup, in my opinion. Um, and I've been eager to share that with them. But the weather's been so warm, you know, down here in the valley, that it's not soup weather. <laughs> not at all. Uh, but rounding out my bag o cans, we have some garbanzo beans, and that's what I will be making the hummus out of. Um, someone asked if I would do a video of me making the hummus, because I've, I've mentioned it a few times now. Uh, it's a bunch of food processor stuff, and it's just going to be like, uh, <laughs> like a half an hour straight, so I'm not going to do that. I know you guys have been itching for another food video, like a cooking type video. I'll have to think about that. Mostly it's, uh, right now it's an issue of time. Uh, the summer is definitely my busiest season show wise. So adding in extra show, um, videos for YouTube has been difficult because I've been meaning to make a bonus video for a little while now. It just, it hasn't happened. I apologize. Uh, but you guys know, most of you have been with me for a long time, and you know that I I might not be the most um, consistent. I'm, no, I am consistent. I do once a month. Um, I'm not the most active. There we go. I'm not the most active YouTuber, but yeah, that's just my style. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into our next bag. This is all Sam's Club stuff. And first up, we have a nice thing of tomatoes. I love to just eat tomatoes. Um, kind of like an apple. So, you know, take tomato, bite it, right? Simplest thing in the world. I am surprised on how many people in my life um, find that kind of gross. Like... When I was a teenager, I worked at a Subway, which is a sandwich shop chain here in the United States. And um, I worked there for a long time. Uh, but anyways, when the tomatoes got super ripe, they were actually harder to slice. So sometimes really good, delicious, ripe tomatoes would get tossed in the trash can, uh, which was the saddest thing in the world. And I remember one day I just picked one up and I ate it. Um, in the back room and my coworker actually like had to run to the bathroom because he was going to puke. <laughs> I could not believe that. Um, and like my, my guy, he is really not into that either. So I try to eat my tomatoes when he's not around. I, I, I get it. I guess it's, you know, it's a texture thing, but it's food people. It's not like I'm like chomping down on, a handful of maggots or something, which I guess technically could be food too, but anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and move on. We have some pistachios to jazz up my guy's lunches a little bit. And then we have some more of the Hunter's Mix. I am surprised on how much of this my guy will go through. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I bought one last month, too. Um, and it's gone. Bye-bye <laughs> Hunter's Mix. <laughs> uh, but I might bring this up to camping for a little extra daytime protein. And then following that, we have some avocado oil. As you guys probably know by now, that is my favorite number one cooking oil these days. I like it better than olive oil. Uh, and let's see here, we have oof, a nice heavy jar of pickles. 
It's a great summertime snack. Although with my braces, they're a little bit of a challenge, but I am so tired of only eating like really soft things. So sometimes I will, I will get a, a pickle or two in. <laughs> and then last but not least for this particular bag, Dun, dun, dun. We have another box of seaweed snacks. They had them again, and so I got them. I really, really enjoy the simplicity of having some seaweed snacks around. Um, you know, there's not much to them. They're very low calorie, which is a bonus. They're kind of crunchy without hurting my teeth. It's a huge bonus. Um, and, you know, keeps me away from eating potato chips too, too often. <laughs> Uh, we have some apples hiding out in the corner there. And then we have some iced tea individuals for camping. And then just one little thing of um, water. I think that uh, the, the water that's up at the campsite is drinkable. And I'm hoping people will save their bottle and kind of reuse it because Sometimes I feel bad about how much waste uh, we produce when we go camping because it's so many individual sized things. Um, so hopefully that works. If not, town's not too far away. Like my craft show will be in the town that's outside of the campground. So uh, it'll be easy enough to get more water bottles if necessary. And then I have some good old bread that kept getting squished. So I pulled it out of its... Uh, the bag it was in. We'll set that right there. And now we're on to our um, final dry bag. Maybe I'll pull out a refrigerator bag, just one, uh, to fluff up. This is all going very smoothly today. <laughs> Uh, apparently I'm not blabbering as much as I usually do. But anyways, I've got some tahini, which is ground sesame seeds. That goes inside the hummus. Got some bananas. And that just goes inside my belly. <laughs> and I've got some... Um, waterproof makeup remover. I have a regular makeup remover and normally that's good enough for me. I don't wear makeup all that often and the stuff I buy is usually pretty like, you know, low grade. It's not super waterproof or anything. Um, but I have a beauty box that I get, right? You know, it's like $30 a month and they send me, um, skincare products and face masks and things like that but last month's box had magnetic eyelashes have you seen those where you like put on the eyeliner and then the eyelashes just like magnetized to it um and i tried it out i'm not wearing them today uh, but i tried it out and the eyeliner on that is like super duper waterproof I managed to scrub some of it off, but there was a little bit left on my lash line and it actually looked really nice. Uh, but I went swimming. I took multiple showers. That stuff was still on like a week later. So uh, um, we'll see if this works any better than my normal cleaning routine. Next up, we have some circus animal cookies. We have some peanut butter. I made lob uh, not too long ago. Um, it can Sometimes it's called lob, sometimes it's called larb. I think there's a few other pronunciations too, but basically it's a, a ground chicken uh, dish that has many things in it. And my end goal was to make lettuce wraps. So I needed to make peanut sauce as, as one of the sauces for the lettuce wrap. <laughs> um, and it was a really, really good peanut sauce. You know, not 100% traditional, 
but delicious. And we went through so much peanut butter because I had to use it again. Um, I made um, pad thai, which is like a, a rice noodle dish that has a peanut sauce on it. And that was good too. So I'm thinking I'm going to make pad thai up at camping. I kind of have this um, history of being a little extra when we go camping. And it's hard to do when I'm also working while I'm up there, but I think I'm going to make pad thai one night. It'll be fun. Next up, we've got some extra toasty Cheez-Its. I really love the ones that are extra toasty. <laughs> uh, we've got some chicken broth. Some sunflower seeds. Uh, my uh, in-laws like to have crunch on everything, basically. So this will be the crunchy factor for their, um, what you call it, uh, yogurt. <laughs> and we've got a little thing of ketchup and a little thing, oops, and a little thing of mustard. Uh, these are our camping condiments, if you will. And then I've got some Triscuits. These are thin, crisp version of the Triscuit, and this one is zesty jalapeno flavor. So that should be fun. Got some uh, croutons. One lonely little package of seasoning. Some soup. Uh, red pepper tomato soup. It is a very nice little lunch for me. Although with this wet weather being as warm as it is, we'll see uh, how quickly I go through it. Um, got some ginger root. Some chewy chips ahoy, which, which have uh, Reese's peanut butter cups inside. Some barbecue sauce, and this one is devil's spit flavor, <laughs> which sounds really classy, right? Uh, this is my guy's um, sauce of choice uh, for, for a commercially prepared barbecue sauce. I have made one from scratch that he liked better, and I don't remember what I did. A lot of times when I cook, I'm that type of person that just throws things in and tastes it and throw more things in. So, I make a lot of tasty things that I never make again. <laughs> um, anyways, we've got some cranberries. This is a um, surprisingly favorite ingredient for salads. You know, good old cranberries with jalapeno crisps and dressing and lettuce. And it's really delicious all together. I got one lonely little mango. I'm not really sure how to pick mangoes. Um, I typically, if I'm gonna eat mango, I'll buy it pre-cut. Um, but the discount store doesn't have pre-cut mango. It's only the expensive stores. So I figured I'd give it a go. I don't, I have no idea how you pick a good mango. I should have googled that. Um, but we'll see how this one tastes. And if it tastes bad, well, I only got one of them, so I'm sure it'll be all right. Next up, we have some soy sauce, the less sodium version. We have some tomato sauce with the uh, roasted garlic. This is to help thicken up the minestrone just a touch. You know, it's still supposed to be a watery soup, but it's kind of nice when you have something to kind of coat your, your 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 tongue with right got some onions and some potatoes <laughs> and then we have some bow tie pasta that's going to be what the the noodle i'm going to throw into the minestrone right and then last but not least I have some olives. 
for a, a um, snack at the campsite. I'm going to make sure there's carrots for my, my family, but carrots are definitely too rough on my teeth. So this is my own personal little vegetable, <laughs> which is fine. They'd prefer the carrots anyways. All right, let's go ahead. We'll go through one cooler bag uh, just to make sure we have enough time to relax and be calm in this video. Uh, and in this particular bag, we have a head of cabbage. I love to make um, sauteed cabbage. That's, I think it, you would call it a saute or grilled. No, it's more of a saute. We have some clover and alfalfa sprouts. Some Parmesan cheese. And then we've got all sorts of sausage for the camping. Here we have Italian style with mozzarella cheese. We have jalapeno with pepper jack. And then, so these are mostly for um, my guy's family. Because when I go camping... I just want plain old hot dogs. Uh, it's about the only time of year I'll eat hot dogs. They're, you know, kind of garbage food. <laughs> um, definitely not super duper healthy. Um, I mean, I guess it could be worse. 130 calories for one hot dog. Uh, anyways, I am looking forward to roasting weenies over a campfire. Um, and they can have their like fancy sausage if they want. I am, I don't know, I wouldn't say gourmet, but I am a higher end cook like 80% of the time. When I go camping, just want some hot dog. <laughs> Next up, we've got some uh, pepper jack cheese. This one says hot pepper. So maybe that one will be a little spicier than average. My family loves spices, so that works. And then we've got some Colby pepper jack. I didn't realize it was also a pepper jack. How did I miss that? Because I love Colby cheese, and I thought I had just gotten, like, plain Colby. Bum, bum, bum. I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> I was hoping for one that was not as flavorful. <laughs> and then last but not least some turkey breast so that we can make sandwiches in the daytime or rather uh, my family can make themselves some sandwiches because I'll be off working and doing the craft show <laughs> and speaking of the craft show I kind of wanted to show these guys off they're little teeny teeny tiny animal loaves <laughs> um, I got a book over the weekend last weekend that and it's in Japanese so I don't understand all of it but it was a felting book that showed me how to make these little guys and I followed the pictures because I didn't wasn't able to follow the words um, and I think they're just adorable how can you go wrong with super teeny tiny animals I think I'm gonna call them petite potato pets um, technically they are based off of and forgive me if I'm saying that wrong some sums to some sums something like that um which are basically like they're 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 produced by disney and they're little like potato shaped versions of all their characters so like this is technically disney characters like that's bambi and thumper and chippendale <laughs> um but i can't go around advertising that i have disney characters in your booth disney doesn't like it when you um, step on their licenses. And these look just like generic animals, in my opinion, so I think it's okay. So I think I'm going to call them Potato Pets. We'll, we'll workshop that, uh, that title, I think. <laughs> um, and speaking of uh, the artistic stuff, instead of doing my usual shout-out where I, I pick a couple of specific names, this time around I want to just shout-out to all the people who are like following me on my art journey because like I feel like it's so it's so much different from you know 
being interested in food or someone who's doing ASMR, you know, type things. Um, so the fact that some of you have like followed me on Instagram or even on my new YouTube channel, which it's barely going to ever get updated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but just the support and love that I get across all the platforms and like sometimes I know who's from YouTube and sometimes it's just kind of a surprise to be like oh you know the usernames don't always line up so yeah long story short thank you to everybody who's been supporting me uh, in the art stuff you know whether that's commenting or following one or two of you have actually bought things from me, which is, is an honor. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for being here, for listening, supporting me, and I will talk to you next time. Nighty night.